That's the kind of man Vittorio was. Tough when it was good to be tough. Generous when it was right to be generous. Now let me tell you something I don't think you know yet. How generous he was to me and to his nephew, Mario. In his will, Vittorio left us his restaurant. To both of us, with one condition, that I train Mario the way Vittorio would have trained him. And to me, that means just one thing, that I train Mario to be a great man like his uncle. A great chef and a great manager. Tough and generous. Okay, Vittorio. I make you this promise. Yes. Everyone here. Detective Lieutenant Colombo. Lieutenant, we're behind you. All of us. And I want you to know this. As long as you're on this case, you'll never go hungry. Arrivederci, Vittorio. Arrivederci. Ah, Lieutenant. The, uh, the opener. Uh, the cartridge, uh, what did the lab say? Well, it was just a cartridge. We still haven't figured out the poison. Mm -hmm. uh, Mario, let's go. Make your rest any easier. I think those checks are going to be a very big help. That dim sum reminds me of the time I used to have at home. At home, Lieutenant? Right around the corner from Chinatown was an Italian neighborhood when I was a kid. I bet I had more egg rolls than I had cannelloni. Do you recognize this, man? It's a cancel check. I noticed that you tore it up at Mr. Rossi's grave. But that's all right, man. I've got a lot more. Hundred thousand dollars. I only passed that around to see who'd react to it. Only two people did. You and Mr. Duval. How very clever of you, Lieutenant. I've been in touch with the Department of Corporations, ma'am. I know that Mr. Rossi was the treasurer of the Restaurant Developers Association. I know that Mr. Duval was the vice president. And I am the president. Exactly, ma'am. Why was the association formed? To help develop certain promising restaurants into commercial successes. And it's been a smashing failure. Do you know why Mr. Rossi made out all those checks? I haven't got the vaguest idea. We never received the funds, and our commercial account consists of $175. Well, that's quite a spread, ma'am, between $175 and $100,000. What happened to the rest of the money? You don't think poor old Victoria was up to something nasty? Ma'am? I hate to believe he committed suicide. Oh, no, ma'am. That's the furthest thing from my mind. Never even thought of that. 
I want to thank you very much for this tea lunch, ma'am. I enjoyed it immensely. I'll have somebody come by and pick up the association's books. Yes, of course. Lieutenant, you forgot your fortune cookie. To tell you the truth, ma'am, I could use some good news. Cheer up. There is more than one fish in the sea. That's the kind I always get. Once, I would like it to say I'm going to be rich and go away on a long trip. Just once. <laughs> Goodbye, Lieutenant. Just one more thing. <laughs> 